Bees are of great importance for biodiversity and therefore our survival on Earth. 80% of all vegetation on Earth depends on pollination by bees. Bees are also indispensable for our food. No fewer than 70 of the 100 crops that people eat depend on these diligent creatures for their pollination. But the bee is not doing well. One in 10 bee species in Europe is threatened with extinction. Things are not much better in the US, Russia, and Brazil. The causes of bee deaths are many, and mainly the results of human activities, such as urbanization and intensive agriculture, which causes the disappearance of the variety of flowers, plants, and trees, and shortage of food and nesting materials for the bees. Diseases, parasites, the use of pesticides, and the pollution of air and water also affect the well-being of bees. The honeybee is the most famous of all bees. Unlike its wild relatives, honeybees live in colonies. For centuries, honeybees have been used by humans to pollinate crops and make honey. But the way bees are kept hasn't really changed in all that time. Until now. Because the Israeli startup BeeWise has developed a high-tech beehive that fast-forwards the world of beekeepers several hundred years in one fell swoop. When you're dealing with a specific virus, like COVID for example, you can identify it and work towards a solution. It takes time, but it's a relatively achievable task. With bees, that isn't the case. Bees are suffering from a plethora of issues, all at the same time, like climate change. Every time temperatures rise by one half of a percent, bees lose about 5% of productivity. Bees are also dealing with pests and diseases that didn't exist a few decades ago. And with modern agriculture, they're subject to pesticides. We use these chemicals to protect our crops, but they kill the bees as well. Together, all these stressors are creating the perfect storm for bees. Bee colonies are collapsing all around the globe. This is a huge problem because bees pollinate 75% of all the fruit and vegetables, seeds, and nuts that we eat on this planet. Without bees, we won't have the vegetables, fruits, and flowers we enjoy every day. Bees are the infrastructure of our global food supply, yet we are losing about 35% of bee colonies every single year all over the world. This is not about single bees dying, it's about whole colonies of bees dying, which is a huge problem. The global population is growing, and as more people come out of poverty, they want a healthy diet. So at a time when demand for the bees products keeps growing, the supply is being cut by 35% every year, and the gap is getting wider. There is no clear line of supply keeping up with demand. Humans have been working with bees for millennia, but with traditional wooden hives, beekeepers can't treat bees in real time. That's the big issue. Surprisingly, with the bee home, we can mitigate the stressors and make it possible to treat bees in real time. BeeWise's beehive looks like a container with a door in it. There are slots on the side where the bees fly in and out. One bee home can house 48 bee colonies, or 1 to 2 million bees, and is packed with technology that allows the beekeeper to follow the ups and downs of his bees. The colonies are monitored 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and a climate system keeps the temperature and humidity in the hive constant. As soon as the system detects a threatening parasite, such as the varomite, it intervenes with a non-chemical treatment. It also prevents the colonies from swarming and leaving the hive. As soon as the bees show signs that they want to leave, the conditions in the hive are adjusted so that they are optimal again and the bees want to stay. The honey is also harvested fully automatically. How cool is that? The bee home is the very first automated beehive in the history of the human race. Because each bee home is connected to every other bee home, the data that is generated detailing the highs and lows experienced by the bees can be evaluated and compared thanks to the self-learning software that is employed. When a therapy or change in environmental conditions, like temperature or humidity, proves successful, it may be replicated in additional bee homes with minimal effort. BeeWise estimates that it is currently responsible for the management of more than 7 billion bees throughout the world, and has rescued more than 160 million bees in the past year. It was recently given a boost of $80 million in cash through a funding round that was headed by Insight Partners, which is a worldwide venture capital and private equity firm located in New York City. The question now is, how exactly are beekeepers benefiting from it? The management of beekeepers' businesses may now be done on a newly developed platform. Customers that keep bees and purchase products from BeeWise are generally beekeepers who have 10,000 conventional hives, each of which has 10,000 colonies. These beekeepers earn money through honey and pollination services. 
At best, once a month, they are able to inspect their hives and provide medicine to the bees in them. They are now able to monitor the activity in their hives around the clock thanks to this technology. The startup provides them with a more effective tool to manage their business and provides the bees with more effective tools to deal with the strains of contemporary life. It's a situation where everyone comes out ahead, which is exactly what we wanted. The company is able to continuously develop the platform because of the feedback they receive from their beekeeping customers. They appear to be continually iterating, and the bee home is progressing in a positive direction over time. For instance, it used to take the built-in honey harvester at Bee Home 19 minutes to collect honey from their boxes, but now it only takes 15 minutes to do so. Having stated that, despite the fact that beekeepers are their principal source of revenue, the bees themselves are the primary focus of their attention. Their hive is responsible for the collection of a significant amount of data. The conventional beehive has a total of 60,000 cells that are laid out across 10 frames, the honeycombs, with each frame containing around 6,000 cells. This is the location where the bees keep their pollen, nectar, and honey stores, in addition to their eggs, larvae, and pupae of the queen bee. This is where they call home. The bee home is equipped with 30 frame colonies, each of which has 180,000 cells that are subjected to individual monitoring. They create terabytes of data by continuously monitoring the colonies, which are then uploaded to the cloud and processed by the AI, which determines what is occurring in each individual cell based on the data. It's difficult to recognize a sickness in real time since you have to continually watch each cell to look for any slight changes in either the cells themselves or the behavior of the bees. If you see any of these changes, it should serve as a warning sign and force you to make a decision regarding the best way to proceed. Artificial intelligence is used for every step of the procedure. These analytics are giving individuals the ability to rescue the bees on the earth, which is directly related to rescuing our global food supply. According to BeeWise's website, the company's mission is to help beekeepers pollinate and produce honey by saving their bees, utilizing modern technology. But BeeWise's technology can reap huge social dividends as well. Protecting these little master pollinators also protects the global food supply as climate change worsens across the planet. According to the startup, the bee home reduces bee mortality by as much as 80%. The company aims to replace all traditional beehives with this high-tech variant. The first 24,000 bee homes are already in the U.S., and the company has plans to expand to Europe and Australia. The question that has to be answered is whether or not industrializing beekeeping is the answer to the problem of bee losses. Whatever the situation may be, it does not help wild bee populations. In addition, contrary to what was previously believed, the most bulk of pollination is carried out by wild bees. There are several species of wild bees that are essential to the survival of natural plants. Abolishing the use of toxic pesticides and adopting new agricultural techniques will be far more favorable for their survival. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think about the technology behind BeeWise? Do you think BeeWise Startup has a revolutionary tech to completely change the traditional beehive? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.